Hello YouTube, it's Jules Lawrence and today I thought I would do a video on my hair. As you can see, it's very curly, which naturally it isn't. Naturally my hair is dead straight, it's horrible. Literally even my hairdresser says that he hates it because it's so dead straight, it's so hard to cut and any mistakes will show. I've always wanted curly hair, I don't know why, I just feel like it's just such more of a like cool look and also I've never been able to just get out of bed, go out and go on with my day because my hair just naturally is so not styled at all, it's just a complete mess, it's dead straight, falls flat, looks hideous. So instead of continuing with my hair like that, I thought I would curl my hair. I used hair straighteners, which is quite easy, but you have to have really long hair to get started with, so that there's enough to wrap around the actual hair straighteners. I was inspired by Troy Sivan, whose hair is naturally this curly, I believe. I really like his general look, it looks effortless, looks like he's putting no effort, which I'm sure he probably hasn't put that much effort in. But for me to have that sort of look, I do. It took me in total about 20 minutes, which isn't that bad really to think about it. And if you spray it well, it will last all day. I woke up this morning, my hair was still pretty curly, so I think it would last well. Although, for a long-term solution, I am actually considering getting a perm. I've had one before, but not this on the top of my head, which is all back and sides. So that's something I'm considering. Anyway, I hope you like this tutorial on how to get your hair from dead straight to this sort of natural curl look. If you do, then please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment below so yeah enjoy so first if you're starting from when you get out of the shower the first thing you need to do is rub it dry obviously just roughly it doesn't have to be completely dry because we're going to use the hair dryer so when we're blow drying it what we need to do is push it forwards and blow dry it down i normally face the floor and blow dry my hair that way as then it falls in the direction that i want it to go in now at this stage it is important that you get it completely dry because once you start using the hair straighteners you don't want it to start singeing your hair and you can normally hear the sizzle if your hair's not completely dry so you don't want that because it's really damaging once you've blow dried your hair the next step is to use the hair straighteners the ones I'm using are my sister's GHD and for the curls I start from my left side to the right side as then I can see where I've been and make sure that I cover the whole top of my head with a curl. Picking just a small section of hair, the smaller it is the more natural I feel the curls look because if they're like in big ringlets then it doesn't look very natural at all. So I get quite a relatively small sections and then curl these one at a time. Normally I curl down towards my face as this helps it sit down flat against your head whereas if you curl it back like a sort of quiff it's going to be huge and that's not necessarily the look that I'm going for. So you need to get a small section, curl it in a downwards direction so that it curls down onto your head. Often once I do, once I've curled a section of my hair, is spin it around my finger because this keeps all of the hairs together. If you don't do that, sometimes it can look a little bit frizzy. So this is the section that takes the longest. So you want to be working from the left to the right, making sure you cover all of the sections. And if you vary the size, then it will also probably make it look more natural. Whereas if it's all very uniform, then it's gonna look like you've curled your hair intentionally and it's not natural. <laughs> So once you've done that, you've got all the ringlets. What you want to do so that it doesn't look dull-like is shake it. Tip your head forwards, shake through your hair with your fingers, and this will just disconnect some of the curls and make it look a bit more messy and more natural. Once you've got the look that you like, you then want to spray it. I use the Tresemme Freeze Hold Hairspray, which is the white one. I've always used this, it's the best hairspray for me because it really does hold your hair solid and that's probably not the best natural look, but for me, if I don't do that, then it will all come out really quickly. As I say, my hair's dead straight, it doesn't like being styled, anything, it's the worst. 